Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful night. You can already see the sky behind me. We've got some clouds to the west, some to the south, west, southeast. But it is supposed to be pretty clear from about 11 p.m. on, so we are going to plan on shooting. We did shoot the other night, and I feel bad that I didn't video or anything. I was still, um, you can probably hear it, I'm still sick. But we had company, we actually did um, tours of the, uh, of the observatories, um, opened them up, and showed our, you know, our company a little bit of like the, the, I don't know, kind of the tech work that goes into getting them running and going and all of this. Um, so we did shoot the other night. My husband went for the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula. I had no idea. First of all, I had no idea that we actually had a view of it from here because our, our southern view is pretty blocked but it's, I didn't realize how bright it was. So he was able to like four hours and he got amazing data. I was just totally floored. Anyway, I processed it. I did put it on my Facebook page, but I didn't share it here. And I'm not gonna yet because tonight the plan is, I believe he is gonna add to it um, with his big scope. He's gonna add to the data on that. I just got off the phone with this neighbor right here to our south and the one right past him, and both of them are gonna turn off their back to, their backyard lights tonight for us and tomorrow night. So hopefully we can have, I mean, it doesn't solve the light pollution problem, of course, but it does really make a difference as far as like light getting in the dome, especially when you're aimed that way. And the, uh, the Eagle Nebula, where the pillars of creation are, they're more of a Southern target. So anyways, stay tuned because that's gonna come. And I might even do a video of me processing that because it, it's a tough one to process a little bit. The, the star field is pretty bold and, you know, I'm just still learning the processing anyway. I just do what I can with the knowledge that I have. And then, you know, every time I get a little bit better, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to go for. The other night I, I added data for the inchworm cluster, but it, clouds came in at about 2 a.m. So I really didn't get hours more to add to it. Um, so I don't know. And if we're going to try to shoot tonight, tomorrow night, and Monday night looks clear also so far. If I have three nights coming up, I might be able to get 12 hours of data on a new target. So I don't know what I'm gonna go for yet. That'll just reveal itself when it reveals itself. But like I said, pillars of creation, my husband's gonna go for it. We're gonna have some added clarity and seeing with the two bright lights over here off for us. Um, I'm gonna open the domes in about an hour. So I might actually stay up here on the deck I'd like to do a video of them both opening at the same time. That would be kind of cool. I, we like to open them around 8.30 this time of year, at least what we're finding out, because they get pretty hot in there during the day. So if we open them, we can get them aired out, get them kind of acclimated. And then by the time that it's dark, everything's just, it's ready to go. It's cooled down and good to go. Um, that's not as big of an issue in the winter, but the summer it is. Pretty sure with some of the really hot days that we've had lately, the temperature inside the domes has been about 87, 89. I think one day mine was at 91 and I couldn't even get my flat frames taken because I couldn't get my camera cooled <laughs> down to temperature so I had to wait until nighttime to do it so it's just kind of funny there's some things you gotta you know you gotta work with here but uh, yeah we'll hopefully open them in about an hour maybe I can do a video of that but stay tuned wish us continued clear skies back here it looks pretty good that's where it doesn't look so hot right here and then down there a little bit but really like about 11 o'clock I think it's supposed to uh, clear up um, astronomical dusk, I think my husband told me was at 1024 and astronomical dawn is at 346, something like that. So we have a very small window of shooting. Um, so if we could have the majority of the night be no clouds, that'd be great. But if we can do tonight, tomorrow night, and then possibly Monday night and have their lights off for all three, we might really get to see some great data here in the next few days. Um, but no, if you don't see anything right away, a lot of times, I think yesterday, I worked on the Pillars of Creation photo, I don't know, six, seven hours, just the one photo. So, so if I am gonna do like a processing video, I'm gonna have to do some editing. It may just take some time. I might not actually get a video on that dropped on YouTube until sometime next week days after we've shot so don't don't be discouraged if you don't see anything i'm working on it you know behind the scenes but anyways um feeling good i'm feeling uh, not great obviously but i'm feeling good enough to shoot this is this is kind of like medication for me i'm looking forward to getting lost in image processing i just find it so it's almost like 
I don't know, it's, it's a little, it's like therapy or meditation. You get lost in space when you're looking at these photos like that. And um, it really does remind you of the bigger picture. It does for me anyway. It solidifies my purpose here. Like I belong here because that's there. I belong here. I, I can't explain it, but that's just how I feel. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing to share with y'all. So stick around. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll have some good, good stuff coming up to share with you. I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you guys are too. All right. Clear skies. Talk soon. Bye now.